Hey, how's it going? I'm super, super excited to be showing you what I'm gonna be showing you today. Um, see, recently when I posted my video last week uh, with Lotfi, a lot of people have asked me like, have you stabilized it with Real Steady? And I said, yes, I have. Uh, but it turns out it was a little bit of a lie. See, there's something better out there for FPV. There's something a lot better. It is faster. It is a standalone app. You don't have to have After Effects for it. You just open it, put the footage, and it does it. And it's a lot, lot cheaper. What is it? It's Real Steady Go. All right, see, Real Steady is a really, really good plugin. It is amazing for a lot of things. Uh, you can like butterize, smooth anything you feel like it uh, with with that software. It's so so powerful, and uh, you can use it on pretty much any camera you like. It's but it comes with a few hurdles. It comes with the fact that you're gonna have to. Uh, use After Effects, you're gonna have to wait quite a lot of time or have a very, very powerful machine because it is it is pretty slow, um, but it's very flexible. Uh, that solution that we're gonna see now is totally different. It's made for the GoPro. You can only use it basically with a GoPro. It's fully automated, um, almost, and it's it's but it's a lot lot faster it's very incredible all right let's launch it right away uh real steady go here we are so as you open it you realize like the simplicity of the software it's it's so simple it's it, it's just literally three four buttons five buttons nothing nothing complicated about that so what you do is that you look for a clip you select it you open it and then bam it's gonna say running the numbers so for a little bit of time it's just gonna it's just gonna compute it and after a few seconds like it's it's pretty fast you're gonna see it be, being ready for you to kind of just like have a look around and then once you once you've done that you're pretty much set so it's it is pretty darn incredible for, for that matter all right so we have our footage right now that is ready uh the only thing that you need to do with it is that you see like it will come with this like green like two little green uh keyframes uh these keyframes are usually placed here uh at the the places where you've got the highest uh, vibrations and sometimes it will be placed in a, a spot that you don't really want it to be like a takeoff for example so what i do when it's at takeoff for fpv drone pilots uh, is that i just move it to another place while i'm cruising around you need one at the beginning of the clip and one pretty much at the end let's see that one that one uh, looks like yeah this should be working so now let's see how smooth it got it got pretty darn smooth uh, hell yeah so this is this is in Sweden by the way I haven't posted this yet uh, but yeah I was I was following someone in a snowmobile uh, it's Maria Sandberg uh, it's, she's, she's super talented. I can't wait to show it to you, but just a little bit of patience because I, I, can't, I can't show it yet. Uh, all right, it, it seems that it's fine. Uh, just, uh, just as a comparison, I'm going to show you the raw clip from before. All right, so you see it's a little shaky here and there. Little shake, but it, it, it wasn't that bad. But it's got a little shake and here nothing it's like it's like nothing ever happened right all right just to show you how fast this is i'm gonna export it right away and uh you're gonna have to pay attention to the time at the top of uh, the screen and we'll see how long it takes to export the whole thing The 
it took about 20 minutes and um, this is, if you know the original Real Steady, it's really, really fast compared to it. This, a four minute clip like that would have taken a long time. It would have taken about 10, more than 10 hours to, to run through the four minutes and for you to have an actual clip to work on afterwards. Uh, let's just check how it how it is now. It is so buttery smooth. It's, it's beautiful. I'm, I'm always so amazed at how, like what, what the power of this software is. So yeah, it's really, really fast. And this is the kind of power that allowed me to edit and tr I mean, treat all the clips that I had and edit my whole uh, longboarding video in less than uh, six hours. So yeah, it's it's got a lot of power. And plus you don't really have to uh, export the whole thing every time. Let me run you through a few features around there. All right, so uh, let's say for example, I just want that part over here for about um, 10 minutes, I mean 10, 20 minutes, uh, 20 seconds. So I'm, I'm here and then I can take this part, uh, then I can take this part, bring it here, and then I have about 20 to 30 seconds of, uh, of footage that I find interesting. Then if you export it, it would take a lot less time. And the beauty of it is that you can also work on it while you are uh, working on something else. Like uh, on my longboarding edit, I was exporting on this side with um, Real Steady, and on the other side, I was working on Premiere, putting my clips together. So you can really have something that you can work uh, with at the same time. All right, let's have a look at the advanced settings a bit. So the first slider is gonna be your smoothness. So uh, if you run it lower, it's gonna, it's gonna try and stabilize it less. Um, so essentially what it's gonna do is that it's gonna crop the image a bit less and you're gonna have more, that's why I do usually, if I feel like it's too narrow, the, the, FP, uh, the FOV is too narrow, I will use uh, the little slider and, and take it down the notch. You have also the speed underneath it, which is how like fast you can zoom in and out to stabilize. Um, then you have a feature that's lock horizon. So lock horizon is going to give you a an effect where you always have like it's always trying to keep the horizon. But for what I do, which is flying those little FPV drones um, to create footage like the one that we just saw, it's not really useful because I'm always kind of trying to keep it, I mean, turning and, and having this very organic move. So um, I'm not a big user, but you have also a time-lapse feature that works really well for handheld GoPro shot. And, uh, and then you have a gyro flip data uh, f feature that if you click it, it means that your GoPro was probably, maybe when you recorded it, your GoPro was upside down. So uh, if your GoPro was upside down when you recorded that, you click that and then it will uh, stabilize the whole thing again. All right, uh, then you have the little green, uh, the little green keyframes. So these ones I'm gonna show you, you just you can just add one like this. Usually I would add it to the place where it's the shakiest um, so that it would help uh, with that particular shape. And then you can get into it and adjust it. So if you find that, for example, this part is not the, the, the most stable, you can move that slider here. And then if you move it too much, it's gonna start shaking again. And here are the best settings, the ones that I use uh, when I work with this software. I usually shoot in 4K, but you can also shoot in 2.7. Um, 4x3, 30 frames a second or 60, and wide. With, and most importantly, 
no stabilization, no hyper smooth, no uh, raw stabilization from GoPro. Uh, that way the software works the best. Also, big disclaimer, this software works really, really good at the moment with the Hero 6. The Hero 7 in uh, Session 5 will work uh, for handheld shots, no problem. It will, but for drone shots in particular, it will need some um, some soft mounting on the camera. There's also a lot of uh, tips that are given on the Real Steady website to achieve the effect. It's been tested for uh, over a few months now, uh, so it will work with a Hero 7, but it will, won't work as well as it does on the. Hero 6 at the moment, but this is also going to be updated in the future, I think. Uh, about the aspect ratio, uh, the reason why I shoot in 4x3 is that it will uh, make it into a 16x9 for the moment. And if you come with a 16x9, it will make it a 21x9. So once again, this is something that will be changing in the future, but at the moment, this is uh, what it is like but it's something that i've also uh, given feedback about and they the team at real city has told me that they will uh, change that very soon this is one of the first updates that will be uh, coming it's way up in their list of of, uh, of improvements to, to bring so soon you'll be able to change from one uh, aspect to another uh, you can you could go original are uh, like 16 by 9s maybe even square and now for the very exciting part this software comes at 99 dollars compared to the 399 that the uh, after effects version is it is just crazy it, it's it's fantastic and i'm so excited about it because that means that a lot more drone, FPV drone creators are gonna give it a go. And I truly think that this is the best thing you can stabilize your videos with when you're flying FPV drones like me, like these little guys. But even for handheld, it's just, it's just beautiful, man. So yeah, I hope you'll give it a go. Super excited to see what you come up with uh, with that software. See you next time. Bye-bye.